As you listen to this prayer, please take a moment to close your eyes, open your heart, and feel all the love that comes from your heart. As I read to you the prayer for love. Today, creator of the universe, we ask that you come to us and share with us a strong communion of love. We know that your real name is love, that to have communion with you means to share the same vibration, the same frequency that you are, because you are the only thing that exists in the universe. Today, help us be like you are, to love life, to be life, to be love. Help us to love the way you love, with no conditions, no expectations, no obligations, without any judgment. Help us to love and accept ourselves without any judgment, because when we judge ourselves, we find ourselves guilty and we need to be punished. Help us to love everything you create unconditionally, especially other human beings, especially those who live around us, all of our relatives and people whom we try so hard to love. Because when we reject them, we reject ourselves. And when we reject ourselves, we reject you. Help us to love others just the way they are with no conditions. Help us to accept them the way they are without judgment. Because if we judge them, we find them guilty. We blame them and we have the need to punish them. Today, clean our hearts of any emotional poison that we have. Free our minds from any judgment so that we can live in complete peace and complete love. Today is a very special day. Today we open our hearts to love again so that we can tell each other, I love you, without any fear, and really mean it. Today, we offer ourselves to you. Come to us. Use our voices, use our eyes, use our hands, and use our hearts to share ourselves in a communion of love with everyone. Today, Creator, help us be just like you are. Thank you for everything that we received this day, especially for the freedom to be who we really are. Amen. The prayer I read to you is from the book, The Four Agreements, written by Don Miguel Ruiz. In his book, this prayer is actually titled Prayer for Freedom, but to me, it rang more as a prayer for universal love. So I felt compelled after reading this book to share this, um, to share this prayer with you, with you all. And I hope that if you take anything from this, that you take on the need to just be more loving, not only with others, but with yourself to embrace yourself as you truly are and to go forward in life in love with you. And once you're in love with you, you can love others unconditionally, even those who have hurt you or who have done things that haven't been the best in the past. You can forgive them and move forward in peace knowing that all is love and all will be love. So continue to love openly with open arms and open hearts and in forgiveness and in prayer. Take good care. I love you.